Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Let's exploration of this the beautiful RPG. Last time we found that the Lord Mayor is dead. We're not officially there. Uh, mm, the heir yet. Well, we are the heir, but we're not the successor yet. And I think uh, it uh, will boil down to us freeing the ship. Um, and in order to do that, we need to still find the navigator and get the bridge back on track. I do not understand what the rebellious uh, people wanted, because by putting everybody at risk, uh, that's effectively inviting demons in here. The second sacrifice draws its gaze. You are here, but where is the Lord Captain? Lord Captain will not be joining us. Uh, the rogue trader is dead. No matter what ritual Kunrad is performing there, the warp is too strong. I cannot withstand it. I feel my body changing with every second. The warp is ringing in the air. This is the end. We will perish in the warp, along with the warrant and all the dynasty's heirs. The enemy of humanity has triumphed. It's not the... First of all, it's not all of the dynasty heirs because they are more, uh, we were told. I've seen it before. We'd... we better get away from him. The changes are already accelerating. The ship can still be steered outside of uh, the warp, but we must first restore the communication. Then we have no right to bow our heads. You see Kurak uh, Voidvir uh, clear, uh, clearly in the gloom of the bridge. The broken blade he is holding is stained with the dark drops that have uh, a pure, innocent glimmer to them. We are out of time. All right, uh, draw your weapon. Ready your weapons. Okay, we're going. No. To die altogether is to allow the flame of the dynasty to perish in the dark. No, it will not be like this. Not today. <sighs> the ritual will not be completed. I'll take care of it. And you, see to it that the void ship breaks free from the warp. What? All right. A cursed traitor! A time will come when you will bleed for her ladyship Theodora's murder! Remember my words, that they are the vow of he who marches toward his death. What? Theodora is dead. No, that can't be. Not now. I still haven't. Your ritual won't be finished, heretic! Uh. Alright, so they are allying with uh, demons now, and the I demon is like hey okay with it. Discord. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. Saiken, take cover. Uh, Saiken, by thinking about it, takes cover over here. Uh, Erdiria takes cover over here. All right, start the battle. Here we go. You will encounter enemies with various abilities and features. An icon next to the enemy uh, gives you an indication. At the moment, none of them seem to be 
under any effects. All right, so we're at what? Void degradation nine. Um, good question. Psychon begins to hit. Accept my offering. Nice hit. And yeah, I we're just going to triumph. kill this guy. What a satisfying nice. Psychon is uh, already at one kill. And currently, to be fair, his weapon is better than his little scream, so the scream doesn't really make a whole lot of uh, sense to to use at the moment. Not for him, at least. Adebrand. Uh We're going to go with Brace for Impact. Moving Try all the way the over here. Are the best ones. It will be done. This guy is almost dead. I will do my duty. And can we? It will be done. Uh, I was thinking uh, that I could maybe run him over, but apparently that didn't work. Still I trying to get into the hang of things. All right, uh, as for her, what are we going to do? Argenta, I don't think that we should go for the big boy at the moment. That is for the weak. No. As the Emperor miss. commands, I act. Faith without deeds is worthless. There we go. Got a first kill. We need two of those. And do we have momentum? What, how's our momentum looking like? Well, as you know what? Commands, I Might as well push the momentum. We're almost here. At that sweet, sweet uh, point. For now, we're good. Chaos point. Just a minor setback. Now. Epicenter of slaughter. Well, he just took a couple of uh, beatings, but uh, he's still fine. Um, Not this Grayer's job. There is movement in the Imperium. And here. Nice. Fantastic. We're at 12 warp degradation. But um, of course. Scout this guy. Which is a good start. And we're going we to do. push the warp a little bit further. We're at 13. Uh, currently bleeding. Suffers damage as the start of the round. We don't have a medkit on her. That's really unfortunate. Brace yourself, Avalard. Okay, we're taking a couple of shots, but it's now our turn again. All right, I needed to take a break. And unfortunately, when I came back, we were back to the auto loading here at the beginning of the combat. So I suppose we're just going to redo the beginning. But I'll try to play it as much as uh, or as faithful Others as I played it before. Me. Accept my offering. Nice little hit here. Good job, Saiken. I need no guidance. I won't waste my time on that. Death shall reign. Fabulous. First kill from Saiken. Lovely. All right, moving to here. Maybe we can optimize that just a tiny bit. Oh, nice. Yes, we can optimize it very much. It will be done. Strike, slash, endure, and we're bracing for it impact. Okay.
Okay, what are we going to do with our soldier? I think... Over here is not too bad. The question is, are we attracting unwanted attention? I think this here is okay. We want to give her two that kills. That is not the Emperor's will. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Faith without deeds is worth <laughs> Nice, that's a fantastic hit. I'll do it. We're definitely pushing the momentum because I want to see how those heroic deeds are playing out. Ah, too bad. She just didn't get the kill. I'm not sure about that chaos spawn. That's a good one. But can we do it from here? Yes, we can. I'm not so sure. All right, they moving up. the future on the battlefield. Oh. Nasty AOE damage. Scout. And I think we're okay still on our void degradation, so Arbaland, you're getting a bonus to dodging. End of turn. Good, we're having heroic acts ready, and I think the firearm mastery is fantastic, but I would want to do it with someone else, not with Saiken. Not that I don't trust him, don't get me wrong. Let's go to here, still half cover. And we're shooting at, at that guy. We're unfortunately currently winded from last round's run gun. But we're going to be okay soon. Artabend. Um, yeah, I could sprint around, but that wouldn't really achieve anything. I will do my duty. Instead, 93% it will be done. is dodged. Let's endure again. We're still okay. We're doing well. Here we go. Heroic deed. Firearm mastery. Shot. Doubt is for the weak. Shot. Keep it going. I'll do it. Shot. And there is the first kill. Unfortunately, poor positioning here. Faith Let's just use the auto shots. Uh, we got one hit. We even got some more shots. That's a really good ability. As the Might as well shoot over there. <laughs> nice, great hit. This is unacceptable. Okay, yeah, cool. Mocking me. Wait, what? We're being pushed to prone. Oh, acid. I hate acid. There is movement in the Imperium. Move to here. But of course, well. This guy just needs to die. And I think we're continuing to scout. That's pretty much what we can do with Iridia. 
Uh, for whatever reason, we just got bleeding on Saiken. That absolutely sucks, but I can't really do much. I will triumph. This is beneath me. Purpose guides me. Okay, we're not lucky with our shots. Avalanche cannot do anything, but really bad and it seems that that spit is an AOE attack uh, naturally I don't want to be hit by the AOE of the Emperor will be undone. I'll do so it. that thing seems to be really that good in avoiding Emperor's damage will. but we're getting a couple of hits in which is great Wow. My ears are ringing. Not my worst day. Oh, yes. Artebrand doesn't look very good. Single target damage. What? Shout at that spawn. Was that you? Or... We're getting some more dodge going here. Forewarning for the win. And that's really all we can do with Iridia. The carnage. Moving a little I bit closer with Saiken. I need no guidance. Yeah, we're not dealing great damage against this guy. All right, time to heal ourselves. Field medicine at its to the good. rescue. Nice little hit. And we're looking good. So continue with. Why is our hit chance so low? I think from here it's just the same, the but we're not crossing on, lines I so act. far. Dodges, and we're reloading. Rending screen. Just a minor setback. That, I think, was the bleeding. Will do. We're inducing some more chaos damage to it. Anything else? It just barely starts to be scouted again. Somehow it has lost all of the exploit stacks. That's unfortunate. We'll do. Psyche needs healing. I will triumph. I will not stoop to this ruin beckons. Half hit points. That thing is still standing. I think it is prudent if we're healing ourselves. I don't think that we would stand another um, full on attack. Nice. 10 points of damage. That's good. That's fantastic. Moving Guided to here. By faith. I'll do it. Nice little hit with the bolter. Let me tend to your wounds. Your aid was acknowledged. Saiken is is good again. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. And we're trying to hit it as much as we can. Down to 90 hit points. Brace yourself, Avalon. Oh, now it is becoming a bit more dangerous. Hit that thing. Exploit it. And I think that needs to die next turn, so... Nah. Let's wait one more turn. Purpose guides me. Unbelievable. All right, we're moving to here. Didn't know that that provokes and take of opportunity because we could move relatively freely so way. far. At your back and call. But this gives us the chance to heal him. I will be 
bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. The pain will subside. Careful now. We're back. As the Emperor commands, I act. Chaos spawn down to 60. Oh. Ouch. My soul Ooh, wow. become like fire. One of our main damage dealers is going down. Anything is. Uh, let's expose it as well as we can. 70%. I think good enough. I will triumph. Very good. One step closer. Purpose guides me. Victory is imminent. Fantastic hit. Can't sprint into him, but can just stand tall. Ouch. Another voice to join my choir. Is she dead? No. Wounds have lost consciousness. Uh, reduced character no longer participates in combat. Will get trauma. Oh, ouch. Was... Was that you? Or... What of course? Anything else? Exploit weakness. Alright. Uh, Saiken. 60%. Or... Or... Ruin Let's just scream at him. There we go. Good. That looks fabulous. I will need to do a small further break, but we are going to wrap it up. I'll loot and we're going to analyze what we've gotten in this very episode. All right, we're back in the game. So let's take a look. We got two things here. Number one, a crippled leg. Agility is reduced by 20. The movement points are reduced by half. Also broken ribs. Oh boy. Strength of toughness reduced. Uh, one less action point. I'm well, your service. how do we get... Can be re uh, removed and fully healed on the void ship? Well, we are on the void ship, so I hope it can. Anyways, let's uh, take a look at what we are step. getting. Sometimes we get a blade chart, which uh, seems mysterious. Uh, we get gloves of endurance. Whenever the wearer of the gloves gets injured or falls unconscious in combat, uh, allies, allies gain plus one to damage. That's good for our tank. And we get mantle of heroism for an iconoclast follower. Each heroic act used in battle increases the wearer's dodge. Oh! That's a fantastic mantle. Alright, uh, my good boy. Um, good for us that Abelard is um, iconoclast. And if we're spamming enough heroic acts, then he will be an ultra tank. We get a little bit of fellowship. Not sure if that is helpful for anyone. It currently is not for Saiken because he has traded away all of the fellowship uh, things for intelligence. So might as well give it uh, to uh, Argenta uh, as a consolation prize for having broken ribs. And then we got some gloves, uh, gloves that will allow us to deal more damage when people become um, unconscious. So, so far that is good. Let's uh, go with the upgrades. So, we get another talent and we can choose a characteristic. The characteristic is the easier one. I think we're going for more toughness, as toughness seems to be like his main shtick. I like that. Um, although, strength isn't bad either. Would go well, but he's a tank first and foremost, so. Um, let's go with toughness. Okay. 
I need to double check what kind of talent we're using. Give me a second. All right, the talents are actually quite uh, well managed. You can select even categories, so I could go under defensive features and then find everything that I find interesting. And I highlighted and uh, just marked a couple of favorite features. Another really good thing, because I always found that annoying in Pathfinder that you need to sc uh, scroll through the uh, list and then find the feature. So you can, in a sense, a little bit plan your character that way. So we're going for thick skin with him. Warrior gains plus one damage deflection, and that would be good because uh, then the amount of damage is always reduced when we're being hit by two. That seems legit. And uh, parry chance is increased by plus 25% of totals warrior's armor. Uh, currently armor is 40 as far as I'm concerned. So I suppose that makes it 10% more parry. Uh, that seems great. And in terms of <clears throat> just uh, the value that we're uh, selecting, I guess we're going with uh, toughness just so that we do have 55 toughness. That seems uh, legit. Fantastic. So do we have any new features? We got brace for impact, endure, charge. Yeah, everything else is passive. But he's now at nearly 30 hit points, and I noticed that he really tanks quite uh, quite well. So that isn't bad. Uh, for our soldier, let's take a good look here. Um, we did have uh, Swift Slaughter, and I think that was a good selection. I like that uh, talent. Um, so we're going to uh, go with her. Let me select what I want. Okay, I think I found kind of out how I would want to build her. Uh, I like to use uh, the area of attack um, action a little bit uh, more. So what I could see there is, are a couple of things. So we could go integrity, uh, which as long as we are full hit points, we get just simply 10 ballistic skill and better movement. Uh, seems legit. This here looks uh, decent, uh, the point blank. All of the soldiers' area attacks also gain armor penetration and ignore deflection. Um, so that does seem good. And... Tenderize com uh, combined with that means if uh, the enemies have been hit by the area of attack attack from the soldier, they will get more bonus damage the ne from the next attack. So essentially it's a additional debuff on top of it. So I like that one. Both of uh, them seem to be nice. Uh, this is also not bad. Wreck and Ruin. <clears throat> After Soldier deals damage to three different enemies, the Soldier um, gains more damage for their next attack. So um, a lot can kind of AoE uh, damage. I think we're just going with... Um, uh, we're just going with uh, the first AOE. All area attacks gain armor penetration and deflection. Uh, that seems like a really good option together with ballistic skill. Um, so, yeah. With that, we also have a chance to kill enemies and therefore get revel and slaughter. And then uh, everything starts to uh, steamroll from there. Um, our Psyker, Psyken, um, has a few other choices though. Alright, we're going to go for Psychic Damage with uh, Psyken. I hope I'm not regretting that. Um, but I still think he needs a little bit more DPS. Uh, psychic Barrage seems good whenever Psyker uses a damaging Psychic Power on a target that is uh, further away. Um, he or they will uh, receive ballistic skill uh, based additional damage. That seems good because we do have ballistic skill with our build automatically. So essentially it synergizes the ballistic skill <clears throat> with uh, whatever else we're trying to do. So that's an interesting concept. Uh, 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 that is kind of a Psy Bolter that someone is doing. We're now finally at 50 willpower, which is great. And we do have fantastic skills, um, coercion, commerce, 
logic, all of the lore, medikai, persuasion, tech use. Uh, we just haven't really skilled intelligence, uh, so it's a bit of a bit of a waste uh, there. Maybe we can do it the next time. So far, uh, these extra skill points do not allow us to get intelligence. Maybe we will need. Uh, mm, another archetype in order to upgrade intelligence but it'll come eventually good and then finally we got idira uh, who does have a similar situation i think we're very much going uh, willpower with her simply because uh, she needs to be better there and let me find uh, the right talent for her I think we're going to go with Warp Minds. I really like that one because it says after the sixth use of a psychic power, and she's using quite a few, all enemies gain a minus five stacking penalty to uh, all characteristics under the end of the turn. Doesn't seem like much, but if you think about it, uh, it affects everything. It's just a group-wide debuff on every si uh, single element. So that seems very, very good in my book maybe we can upgrade it even further and i wanted her to be kind of the debuffer to a degree all right okay looks like we have upgraded uh, everything that we can currently and we've beaten oh, the enemy's boss uh, the chaos the spawn servitor. So how do we solve this issue here? The world will bow. We're still needing to find um, the navigator. Yeah, Master Helmsman. Robo, That's the guy we're Master looking Helmsman. for. Master Helmsman, system status report. By the Emperor, it's the Seneschal, living and breathing. Oh, well, there's a tricky question. The old place is so overgrown with foul wickedry, we'll be scrubbing it off the vid screens for throne knows how long. How did your people survive in here? <laughs> Must have been Providence. It better have been the Emperor's, not someone else's. When they barged in here, the ones with the Master of Whispers, some officers charged them. But it wasn't even a fight. I grabbed whoever I could and dragged them behind the cogitators. Then I prayed for our rescue. We need to re-establish the contact with the Navigator's Sanctum. Your words seem to knock uh, the officer out of their stupor. And the air around you fills with voices and commands being issued. You hear someone uh, sobbing. One of the other survivors buckling under the stress. Uh, Abelard cuffs the crying officer without even looking. Restore the Fox Channel to the Navigator's Sanctum. Ready the crew. Prepare for translation to real space. You may call me superstitious, <coughs> but translation is not a good time to disregard rules. You are the only one who speaks for House von Valancius. You may not be the Lord Captain, but you, more than anyone else, deserve to take her place in the ritual that is about to commence. Let's begin. The image before you is hazy, swaying uh, sorcerer's current invisible mortal eyes as whatever is beneath the thin shell of constantly changing while still remaining the same. It has taken a guise of Theodora, but the false rogue trader's eyes reveal the entity's true surreal nature. One of Theodora's eyes is engulfed in an otherworldly fire. The other, a vessel of an ancient evil, bores into you. A voice uh, seeps directly into your brain without even reaching for your ears and the voice booms with all of the horrors of the war. Mortal, who are you to oppose the very flows of fate? 
It matters not. Your footfalls are an echo of the sand pouring between the scales. Your hopes and faith are my mockery. Be gone, Phantom. This violent vow to return with a trophy. A relic that could serve the edge of daybreak. That fate was assured, and the steps chosen. And yet, you broke the unbreakable when you took the assignment's place. I see you on the day when the final dawn rises over the Iron World. I see you by my side on that day. The day of my resurrection. Your image is woven into the tapestry of things to come. I am the will of the weaver of destinies, and today I will weave a new thread of elusive possibilities and fickle chances. The thread that will lead you out of the maw of irreversibility. The thread that will help you find the keys to salvation. The thread that will guide you and the weapon of our return to me. Interesting. The path is set, child of the dawn. The thread is woven. Follow it, servant of mine. Seneschal, the navigator's sanctum is silent. The Vox signal is stable, which means... The navigator gave his life battling the storm that nearly claimed the Von Valencia's flagship. We will honor his memory along with that of all who died this day. Seneschal, we could tell us now. Who is that? Where's the Lord Captain? As First Officer, it is my duty to inform you with the greatest regret and indelible sorrow that Lord Captain Theodora von Falancius is dead. May her memory never fade from the annals of the dynasty. By right of blood succession, and with the absence of other kin who could challenge this decision. It is hereby declared that the successor to Theodora von Valencius is her heir, the rightful inheritor of the Warrant of Trade, and the title of Rogue Trader. The official ascension ceremony will be held at a later time. In the interim... Uh, have you lost your tongues? Hail your lord! It is because of his toils that we all still live. The deed is done, Master. In my apologies. I meant to say Lord Captain. Ooh, we became Lord Captain. The treachery of the Master of Whispers was fruitless. But victory came at a great cost. Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius perished along with her heir, Edelthrad and thousands of crew members. Yet hope remained, for the second in line to the Rogue Trader Dynasty survived, to hang the ancestral banners once again and exact vengeance on the enemies of House Von Valancius and humanity. Alright, I think this is the perfect time to call it quits for this episode. We fought a demon. Well, it was a demon spawn, but nonetheless we fought one. And we have become uh, the Lord Captain. A title not easily obtained by anyone else. I think this is where we are going to uh, continue the next time when we play a Rogue Trader. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of uh, the battle and us becoming Lord Captain and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.